not meant to be. There should be enough star splinter iron. Now we just need to find that Sabrosium. I think I saw a village on our way here. Master Jong said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? Hey! There really is someone here! Yunjin, looks like you were right! Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? <gasps> huh. He didn't seem to catch that. Hello, sir. We were just passing by, and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. <sighs> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Well, whatever. Guess we're on our own here. Shenhua, Yunjin, let's have a look around! Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's... It's... Shen He. Shen He. You are alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years? I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Sabrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. And this place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. Huh? You know this guy, Shen He? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and take a look around. Don't worry. Mingjin has no ill intention towards Miss Shenhe. She'll be quite safe. Okay. Then let's see what we can find in this village. I came back here once before, a few years ago. Alone. I hid it from Master at the time. It was deserted then, too, except for a few low-life bandits. <sighs> Everyone and everything I remembered was long gone. But as people were passing by, they stopped to admire me. <sighs> they praised me, telling me I gave off the aura of an adeptus. I tried explaining to them that I wasn't an adeptus, just an ordinary person who came from this village. <sighs> but no one believed me. When I saw how run down all these houses were, I felt at a loss. It was like I took a look at the world, and on the surface, it looked like a vast realm with so many places I could go. <sighs> then I looked a little closer, and there was nowhere for me to go at all. Suddenly, so much time has gone by. Everything. Last time I visited, I felt so upset. But today, I don't know why, but it feels different. It is easy for your mind to run wild when you are alone. But this time, you are with your friends, aren't you? Yes, my... my friends. of a god, an abandoned village, Mount Tianhung. Does this mean that the true story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation happened right here, in this village? The time frame certainly matches, so it seems we're in the right area. Let's keep looking around.
reward on the road. Huh. What's this? So... Shenha is the Divine Damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an Adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. According to this text, the Divine Damsel from the Opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen he said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Let's have a look over there. Basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some Sabrosium! Let's go back and tell Shen the news! One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well, we all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But... It also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shenha, we're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha... It brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Shenhua, look. This tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. Hmm. Let's go then. Uh, Miss Shenhua. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. But now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. B uh... My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, 
I hope that one day I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shenhua! Yunjin! Cut the chit-chat! Let's go! We can't let someone else beat us to it! Astra Abyssosk. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the adventure. Astra Abyss. Add Astra Ab. If there's nothing better to do, we could go foraging for ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> 